Hey everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and I am here today with a brand new video. I am at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Orlando and guess what? It's wand day. That's right, I'm gonna get a wand at Ollivander's. I'm literally so excited. And then I'm gonna take it all over Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade and show you all about the interactive wands that you can use here in these lands. It is super, super cool. I'm super, super excited. If you can't tell, I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited too. Let's get to it. If you want to purchase a wand in Diagon Alley, you can go purchase them in the shop. You can just go buy one, a witch or wizard will help you shop for a wand, or you can actually go do a wand experience. I was told to find a wizard with a scroll to, to do the wand experience, and I think I've found her. How excellent. All right, so the way they're doing the wand experience right now, it's one party at a time. So I signed up for a wand appointment in a little bit. So for now, I'm gonna go show you the other wands you can buy if you wanna buy one of the legendary wands and or not do the wand experience. The way Ollivanders is working right now, if you're not doing the experience, is they will match you with a personal witch or wizard shopper who will show you all the wands and answer any questions and help you pick the right one. Welcome to Ollivanders. Thank you. My name is B. I'm going to be your shopkeeper today. Yay! If you'll follow me, we can discuss your wand options, okay? Okay. Bye. All thank right. you. So, I'm assuming you're here for your wand. Yes. yes. Very right. excited. So, as you can see, if you want to put your mogul blocks around the place, We've wow. got many, many different ones to choose from today. So let's go ahead and try to narrow down your options, okay? Okay. Okay, yes, I would right. like an inner, I would like to do magic. You would like, okay, so you'd like to do one of the magic wands today, fabulous. So, uh, were you interested more in a wand that's your very own today? Or a favorite witch or wizard's wand? I, since I'm here, I'm gonna do a favorite witch or wizard's wand. Sure, and yes. uh, so let's go ahead and look inside the case. Okay. So these wands are going to be the wands of all of your famous witches and wizards. Did you want me to go over whose wand is which? <laughs> can I try and guess as many as I can and then you can tell me where I'm wrong? Sure. Okay. All right. So who's up? Harry. Who's up? Hermione. Who's up? Probably Ron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. McGonagall? Nope. I don't know. You want me to tell you? Yeah. That one's Jenny's. Oh. How about this one? McGonagall. Nope. That's Neville. Uh, How about this one? McGonagall. I'm gonna keep saying McGonagall. <laughs> no. no, that doesn't. That doesn't. That's too flowery. Yeah, um, so. Molly Weasley. Nope. She says you're just the same as I am. Oh, Luna. Yeah, that Luna? Tra that tracks. How about her? I don't know. I give you a hint. It's a girl. Cho Che. Cho Che. Yeah, it is. All Does right. anyone buy that? Uh, quite a few people. Really? The claws really low. Uh, uh, well, yes. you know, they don't have a lot. Yeah, unfortunately. How about this one? Serious. Nope. I don't know. He is in Hufflepuff. Cedric. Yes. How about her? Oh, that's a fancy one. Her? Um, not McGonagall. Not McGonagall. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Sprout. No. Oh, no. I wish we had her wand. <laughs> She's from a different wizarding school. Oh, Floor. Yeah, that's Floor. That would be, Good yeah, job. that's, that's yeah. fancy. Oh, so how about this one? Lupin. Yes. Tonks. Yes. That's the elder one, so yes. Dumbledore. How about this one? Yeah. McGonagall. Yes. Finally. Yes. <laughs> How about that one? Uh, I don't, that one looks kind of angry. Yeah, it's big for a big set of hands. And kind of I was like going to say Hagrid, but like he doesn't have a wand. So, Mad-Eye Moody? Mad-Eye Moody. Uh, Good job. How about this one? Serious. Yes. Oh, that one's fancy. Mm -hmm. Um, are they good or bad? Ambiguous. You have your mother's eyes. Oh, Snape. Yep. Narcissa Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. That's Voldemort. Whoa, careful. Well, I mean, he, he must have. I'm, I'm a Southern. It's cool. Uh, 
I need a hint again. He walked into the elevator and he said it's raining in my office oh. again. Oh! Uh, oh! Not Arthur then. No, nope, he's from the ministry though. He's the mean one from the ministry. I was going to say Rufus Scrooger, but that's not him. We have his one though. Here. Um, Starts with a Y. Yaxley. Yaxley, good job. How about these two? Is that just generic Death Eater? Yep. <laughs> and how about this one? Bellatrix. Yes, good job. Wow. You did good. This is no, you did very either good. embarrassing or very impressive. I'm going impressive. Ten yeah, points to Slytherin. I'd, I'd say it's impressive. If I could give you house points, I would. <laughs> now I'm going to give you just one hit for these. These okay. are fantastic piece somewhere to find them. Oh, no. So, okay, so these are not interactive, you just said, but yes. these are still, um, Grindelwald. Nope. Zoe Kravitz's character. <laughs> nope. The blonde girl. Nope. But she's not a witch. Nope. Um, the brunette that is a you witch. You named his wand in here. This is the wand he had before he got the super... Dumbledore. Yes, good job. How about this one? Newt. Yes. Ooh. The boring brunette woman. <laughs> Tina. Yeah, her. <laughs> How about her? Her? Well, the sassy blonde's not a witch, right? So sassy blonde that can read minds. Yeah. Uh, no, that is. Oh her. yeah, she is a witch. The her guy. Name is, her name is Queenie. Queenie, yes, yes. The guy she falls in love with isn't magical. No, no. I. Jacob is not magical. Jacob is not. How about this one? Grindelwald. I'm gonna put them together so you have more of a hint. Who's he? That weird kid. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not um, Credence. <laughs> I don't know. That's Theseus Scamander. So that's Newt's Oh, brother. Newt's handsome brother, yes. How about her? Oh, um, Zoe Kravitz. Lita Lestrange. Lita. <laughs> yes, I was going to call her Luna. And I was Lita like, Lestrange. And how about this one? This Grindelwald. One's, nope, this one's kind of a doozy. Well, I'm clearly bad at this, so I don't know. He procured Hint. the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, Nicholas Flamel. That is his wand. He's as, in a second as you can tell, not my favorite story. <laughs> When you buy a wand at Ollivander's, there's a couple different options. You can buy the famous legends, witches, and wizards. That's like your Harry Potter, your Dumbledore, your Neville, your Snape, whichever ones you want to buy. You can buy the interactive ones. Those are $55. Or you can buy just the pretty collector's ones. Those are $49. You can also buy the celestial chart ones. Those are the ones where the wand picks the wizard. That's what you get to do in the Ollivander's experience. So if you want to buy Harry's wand or Hermione's or Voldemort's, oh, he who must not be named. You gotta go to Ollivander's and then a personal shopper will show you what to do. They'll show you all the wands, they'll help you pick one. Then inside every wand box is a map. It's got Diagon Alley on one side and Hogsmeade on the other and it shows you all of the interactive magic spots throughout both of the lands. There's 20 interactive spots in Diagon Alley and nine interactive spots over at Hogsmeade. So let's get to making magic, y'all. I've got my map, I've got a wand, and I'm gonna try and do these in order because that sounds fun. So going to find magic spot number one. You'll know you found a spot if you see these gold uh, emblems on the ground and it tells you the spell and what motion to make your wand. So this one says Tarantaglera and you do like a little M shape. Tarantaglera. Tarantaglera. <gasps> Magic. I did it. I'm a witch. Yo, I don't care that I'm a grown human. This is awesome. Onward. We have so many more. Number two is right here. All right, it says incendio, and I do like a triangle format. Incendio. Incendio. <gasps> ah! Medio Low Jinx is right next door. All right, it's like a Swoosh. Mediologinx. Ah! <laughs> All right, Silencio. Silencio. 
Silencio. <laughs> Little magical tip, no matter which spot you go to, you're gonna see a circular black thing like that. That's a, a magic thing. Silencio. Silencio. Aim at that. Non-wand related, but I wanted to pop in because Magical Menagerie wasn't open last time I was in here. Um, and I just wanted to point out that you can see Crookshanks, the cat up there. And then also if you watch in here, you can actually see that there's rats in there. Very fancy rats, AKA not horrible men pretending to be a rat. Looking at you, Peter Pettigrew. You can also see the crumpled horn Snorkax up there, one of Luna Lovegood's favorite creatures. And you can take home a number of friends. Oh my gosh, Crookshanks is so cute, he's moving. You could take home a number of creatures as well. You could take home a Crookshanks, a Buckbeak, an Aragog if you want that. Oh, a Sirius, that's cool. Or the Grim, however you want to look at it. A rat. A little otter. Oh, cause Hermione, got it. A weird colorful cat. A Phoenix. A fluffy, that's right, a three-headed dog plush. A fang, oh, that one's really cute. You could bring home a toad, like from the frog choir. Or a, a little puff bowl. Oh my gosh, do you need one of these? Little pygmy puff, that's cute. Also love me some Hedwig. If you wanna get a Hedwig plush pillow, keychain, or backpack, you can. Okay, back to wands. Okay, this one says dark detectors, and on the map it says to just raise your wand slowly and see what happens. So far, nothing. Okay, I've recruited a witch. Hold it still. Ah! Oh, and that's awesome. They move around. Thank you. <laughs> I am a witch after all. Just kidding. Specialis Rebello. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa, not Wingardium Leviosa. All right, let's see if I can do Hermione around. Wingardium Leviosa. <gasps> Swish and flick. There's two right here. All right. The map says Reparo is first, so. Reparo. Locomoto Fellows. Oh, this is so cool, guys. The next one is here at this little mermaid statue fountain thing, and there's actually two Aguamentis. The first one right here on this side. Aguamenti. Aguamenti. Oh, I did it. <laughs> there's another one on the other side of this, on the back side of the mermaid. So let's see what that one does. Agumenti. Agumenti. Descendo. Alright. 
crescendo. I did it! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what I'm learning, oh, it went all the way down. <laughs> what I'm learning is you need to make the movements a little bit bigger than I thought initially and like a little looser. A little loosey-goosey on the wrist, swish and flick. Okay, so I have finished all 11 spells on the map in Diagon Alley proper. There's actually 20 things listed on this map, but some of them are just the locations to show. It's a map of Diagon Alley, um, so it just shows you where everything is, but the ones that are circles on the map are magic spots. The ones that are diamonds are just showing you other shop names. So I'm going to head to the other part of Diagon Alley, the more nefarious part, but a witch just showed me a secret spell that I'm going to show you guys. Come to the window of Mole Pepper's Apothecary. It's right before the ice cream parlor. And you're gonna look at this barrel right here. Engorgio. Secret spell. A wizard just told me that the one over at Mole Peppers, that's actually dragon poop and you're making it bigger, which is a very funny prank to play, but be warned. Um, and he also said, it, because I'm a Slytherin, he would tell me another secret spell. Go to this window under where it says Scrupulous, and you'll see some invisible ink signs. So just stand right here, do a backwards triangle with a little flourish, and say Aparicio. Aparicio. <laughs> ah! That's so cool. Wow. What a treasure. What a treasure this place is. I liked that one a lot. We're gonna do that one again. Aparicio. Ah! This is so cool. It's time now to go to Nocturne Alley. This is where some shady witches and wizards like to hang out but there's more magic to be had it's super dark in here but i'm starting with this one's actually number five it's aloha mora which is like a circle with a down all right aloha mora aloha mora it's incendio with a little triangle thing Okay. Oh look, the bird from Half-Blood Prince is in here. I hope I don't light it on fire. Incendio. <laughs> Whoa. Smoke. Don't hurt the bird. Oh. <laughs> Okay, the bird's fine. It is so immersive in here and so dark, like, especially when there's not a lot of people around, it truly feels like you are in Nocturne Alley. It is so amazing and I am geeking out. All right, the next one is right here. And I was told this one's kind of like the eye one where you just raise your wand or you point your wand. can make him dance and stuff with your wand. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, you're, I'm getting him to grab stuff. Wimble Wimble. Okay, here's the last one in Nocturne Alley. So it's the last one on this side. It's Locomotor Chimney Sweep. Okay. Locomotor Chimney Sweep. 
Oh my gosh, it's a house elf and he's climbing. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. That was a cool one too. One thing that you can do is you can actually go to Ring Guides and you can exchange your Muggle money for Wizard money. And then you can spend it on anything you want in the Wizarding World or the rest of Universal. It's a dollar for dollar exchange, but really like ups the excitement and the immersion of being here. I think if I'm gonna buy a wand at Ollivander's, I need to pay for it in Wizard money. So it's right here at the Gringotts Money Exchange. You can just head on in and a not so friendly goblin will assist you. Hello. Thank you. You there? Yes. At the front. That's me. Name, please. Molly. Thank you. You may refer to me simply as Sir. Will do, sir. Did you have a question? I, I would like to exchange some money. Very good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Goodbye, sir. Farewell. <laughs> Hello. Right this way. Right up here. Welcome to Alphandas. Makers of fine wands since 382 BC. I am the wand keeper. And you are Molly, yes? Yes. Now tell me, which is your wand on your right or your left? My right. Very good. Molly, you may know that every Ollivander wand has a core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. No two Ollivander wands are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. And of course, you will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. Let us begin. Perhaps a wand of willow, 14 inches long, swishy with a dragon heart string cord. Now, Molly, I'd like you to take the wand, and what I want you to do is to illuminate the tip of it. I'd like you to hold it up Concentrate on the tip and say, Lumos. Lumos. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I can safely say this is not your want. But not to worry. Put that back. Not to worry at all. You're doing just fine. Oh, nice. With a phoenix tail feather cord. Now, if you look up in the corner, my flowers are rather thirsty this afternoon. I'd like you to give them some water. I want you to point your wand, give it a wave, and say, Aguamenti. Okay. Aguamenti. Oh. oh. Yes, definitely not true. Oh, to those of us that study wand law, it is clear that the wand chooses the wizard. It is not always clear why. Now pick it up, please. And Hold it above your head. Oh, yes. Yes, the perfect fit. A wand of ivy. A wand of ivy is drawn to a strong wizard. What may I please? Now, my assistant will explain your wand options and answer any questions. And remember, Wand learns from the wizard, and the wizard from the wand.
Here's my wizard bunny. Sorry. Okay, this land is amazing, but that was one of the best things I've ever done, maybe in a theme park. Uh, definitely one of the best things I've done in this land. Like, obviously the attractions are amazing and you should definitely do those, but if you're a Harry Potter person that wants to do the wands, that was so cool. I absolutely cried. I felt like I was smack dab in the books. She was like, I'm Wand Keeper and you are Wand. And I was like, I'm in Diagon Alley. I, it's real, it's all real. Magic is real. When she found my wand, the, the music lit up and I totally had chills and I was tearing up a little bit. And wow, that was so awesome. So here is my wand. They all come in a box and they all come with the map. This is the interactive map to show you where all of the magic spots are in both Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. And then here's the wand itself. It's an 11 inch ivy with a unicorn hair core. And that is my wand. Oh, it's the Daily Prophet. Um, before it was a show that a bunch of people would go in and then they'd pick one person at random to be like the chosen one that gets the wand. Uh, now it's one party per show, so I automatically was obviously the person that got chosen. Um, if you were like a family with two small kids, I would talk to the assistants out front because they may suggest you sign up for two different appointments or they may be able to work with you and let like both kids do it at the same time. Um, but just talk to them when you're signing up for your appointment and um, then afterwards you can buy this wand or if you'd rather buy like Harry Potter's wand or the Elder wand or something like this, that you totally can. Um, but I just thought it was so cool and this wand definitely chose me so I had to buy it obviously. Also, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. in Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley here. This is the Universal Studios Florida side of the Wizarding World. So now, trying to catch the Hogwarts Express over to Hogsmeade. every Universal reopening video that I've done, but the line for the train is a little bit longer right now because they're only putting in one party per cabin, but I'm here for it. Look at this, look at all this room for activities. Um, and mostly it's just nice because this is pretty tight. They normally put eight people in here. It's kind of awkward with strangers. A storm started while I was on the Hogwarts Express, so we're about to do rain magic. Too bad there's not a spell to make that stop. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Magic is great anyway. All right. Incendio. Incendio. Magic. The next one is outside Honeydukes. It's Ravello. Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. Try this twofer out. Ascendio. Look at the tape measure. All right. Descendio. <laughs> Locomotor snowman. There he goes. Oh, tricks. He's a fancy snowman. We've got Aloha Mora here. Oh, outside the bookstore. Aloha Mora. 
Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Got it. Oh, how cool. Oh, I love this one. This one is awesome. It's, it's still going. Okay, that one was awesome. Next up, Arresto Momentum, right here outside of McCavlock's Wizarding Headgear, all right? Arresto Momentum. Arresto Momentum. Arresto Momentum. <gasps> Doing it, crushing it. <laughs> oh, I like this one too. <laughs> that one's cute. This is the last one on the map. Wingardium Leviosa, a great one to end with. All right, got my feet, got myself pointed the right way. All right. Wingardium Leviosa. Doing it, I'm doing it, amazing. Found another one, this was in the back near Dervish and Bangs. It's actually two more, Locomotor and Arresto Momentum. Since they're singing and twirling, I'm gonna try and stop them. And I know Arresto Momentum is stopped, so Arresto Momentum. Got it. Now I wanna start it again. Locomotor, Locomotor. Not very good at magic, right? Oh, got it. I kind of like that it takes a few tries because I'm new at magic. So if I just walked up and did them all immediately, I'd be like the best witch ever. So it is like you're in magic school, like the kids. It's like Hogwarts. Gonna pop into Dervish and Bangs now as well. This is the wand shop in Hogsmeade. So if you're not going over to Diagon Alley or you're starting here in Hogsmeade and you want to get a wand, you do it. And here they have a wand uh, experience as well that you can do. So the interactive wand experience, very similar, not exactly the same, but it's very, very similar here at Dervish and Bangs and Hogsmeade. And then they also have all the wands you can buy. Um, personally, if I'm gonna get a wand, I wanna do it at Ollivander's because that's where Harry did it. You get it. Um, and it's kind of fun either with the personal shopper or that experience was super awesome, but um, they do have wands here as well. Well, friends, that is a wrap on my interactive wand video. I hope you had so much fun. I literally had the most fun. One of the most videos I've ever done. What an amazing immersive experience. You don't have to do all the stops. Um, it, you know, if this is something you wanna just do a wand and then do a couple of them along the way, but if you're a Harry Potter person and you're committing a day to really doing the Harry Potter, I don't think your day will be complete without doing the interactive wand because it's truly magical. And wow, that interactive, all of Andrew's experience was like truly one of the best things I've done in a very long time in a theme park. So what a treat, what a day. Let me know your Hogwarts house in the comments. Let me know if you have done an interactive one and whose interactive ones you would like to get. Um, in the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at All Ears Net. Now, heck, next time, y'all, I'm Molly, and it's been magical. <laughs> Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.